Now, wherever you go on social media, one thing or one song that is trending very well is Sorry Remix by Yao Talk. Now, Yao Talk is a young rapper yes he's a young rapper and few months ago about seven months ago he released his i don't know if i should say his debut single or his breakthrough music yes a song that broke him through um the music industry and got a lot of people to watch him yao talk released sorry which he featured the asaka boys like j bad or kenneth you know the the city boy reggie and all the squad yes and this song blew up this song was everywhere it trended everywhere around the world sorry did really great and that song was released after kawabanga's song which he also featured the asaka boys which was called akata for yes akata for i'm sure you've actually listened to that song now few days ago yao talk released the remix of sorry which he featured ghanian artist kwesiata and uk-based ghanian rapper stormzy yes this is a, a song that a lot of people were anticipating because when they were shooting the video i think somewhere last year december that v- it was really trending and so lots of people were anticipating to hear of this song and finally the song is out and it's doing well on all platforms the song is trending is people are streaming it all over bet uk have been tweeting it a lot of international platforms have been posting it and stuff like that so y'all talk music is sorry remix with stormzy and quesiata is really traveling far but then one thing that popped in was there's been a couple of tweets and reactions on social media saying that why didn't y'all talk bring on board the asaka boys as the kenneth j bad the city boy the reggies and all of that because this is more like a big collaboration so why didn't he bring them in other people were also speculating that there's been some beef between yao talk and these guys right there because at least he should have featured them they should have shown up in the video because we all know how the kumerican people support each other even if it's not their song trust me you see the bra bangs the city boys the kweku dmcs even if they are not on the song you see them in the video so this was what was actually going on on social media but then yao talk has come to clear the air yes he has come to clear the air and according to yao talk he says there's no beef or whatsoever between them but then there seems to be um some i don't know if i should say misunderstanding small misunderstanding or something yes he says that it's more like the asaka guys wanted to sign him and i think he didn't agree and all of that now let's check out the whole tweet what he tweeted on social media i'm sure it's because of how people were talking about it and people speculating that there was some sort of beef and stuff so Yao Talk came on social media to tweet and I read this was the first tweet he says I think I need to clear this I'm not beefing anyone in this music thing yeah I did a song with the Asaka boys and it was for love thing and support and fine I can't ignore the Asaka boys in my storytelling because they are part of my success story so he says he's going to clear the air and he did a song with them and they supported him he can't ignore the asaka boys in his success story and all of that and now he came to tweet again i didn't sign their record label deal and it came out from them since i didn't sign their deal they can't work with me again and things started from deleting of my verses and stuff they did together but i appreciate them they are part of my success story so there's a tweet from Yao Talk explaining. He says that their record label wanted to sign him, and since he didn't sign it, he could, um, he didn't sign with the record label. They turned out to delete some of his verses and stuff he did with the Asaka boys. Yes. So that's actually the rundown coming from Yao Talk himself. He tweeted this. Yes, this is from his official Twitter account. So in case you've been hearing of some speculations about the Asaka boys and your talk beef and stuff, this is it. Now let's check out some of the comments that came in after the tweet. This one says, But you sure say this be the whole story. No hidden truth. Because this your side of the story sound cool, but maybe it might not be the whole truth. Just say, you know, 
this one also says he didn't sign to the label what did he expect them to do he should have negotiated with them his verses and projects i'm sure he didn't and that's why they deleted don't mind talk one day hype and you are here explaining plenty this one also says um um this one also says let me read this one he says you should uh you probably should have signed just for that YGO Kenneth. That's he's talking about Kenneth verse. Because his verse really made people F with you and the whole song the hard way. The Chicago folks who tweeted the song were all praising him. And this one says, hey, the sorry track is the blue them all. As our cowboys went international because of the sorry song. So it's not by force to put them on the remix, Charlie. We just forbade the concept of the remix. That's all. So these are some of the comments that are coming in. But then, me for me, I think that um, whatever, if there are any issues, y'all talk should go behind the scenes and sort it out with our Sakaboys. Because it seems this American thing is more of a united, they are, they are a united front. Yes, so if there's any misunderstanding between them, he should probably solve it with them. Even if he's not signing with the record label, at least they should have some kind of vibe. But then, if he feels it's not going to pick up, maybe who knows maybe he has chosen the right path so that's what i think about it what do you also think about this ongoing speculated beef between yao talk and the asa cowboys do you think he should have put them on in the remix regardless of what he has explained had happened just share your opinions in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new to always be updated whenever we drop yet another update thank you so much for watching